Hey guys, it's um, it's been a while, and I just yeah, I need a shower. But these things happen. Um, how you doing? I hope everything's going all right for you all. Um, I'm mumbling. I'm, I'm sorry if the mumbling troubles you. I guess. But anyway, it's it's a big weekend for me. Yeah. Um, we have this event at the church every year. That's an, that's an ice cream social. You know, you get together and you do socializing around ice cream. It's fellowship. It's great fun. But this year, this year, we're doing something really exciting. I think we're doing this whole thing where it's called the social service ice cream social, and we're inviting all these beneficiaries in. We got like eleven different agencies, something like that, coming in. And it should be a lot of fun. And so we've invited the village. We put an ad in the paper. Well, we got an article in the paper actually, and the village president is coming local dignitaries um, in all these agencies we're going to have three bands um, my band's playing one of the girls is playing so yeah you got to come out because Bob Squatch will dance so what do you want um, Jeannie T. Arigio is coming out always worried that I'm pronouncing Jeannie's name incorrectly but she'll correct me if I'm wrong and then the Sons of Susan are going to be out they're fabulous so Sons of Susan are first, Jeannie's second, we're third, we play, from, everybody's playing from one to six, six, one to six, on Sunday, tomorrow, come out, because I'm see it, it should be fun. So I'm really nervous, which means I'm totally distracted, I'm not thinking about the sermon, and I really need to, it's the third sermon in this uh, series I've been doing on art and faith, and, and uh, what it means to be the body of Christ, all those things wrapped up in one, and this is the final one, and it's called Christ's Heart. And we'll see what Christ's heart is all about, what it means to love as Christ uh, loved, or loves, more accurately. So, yeah, that's really all I've got going on. I just want to show you a couple things, a little show-and-tell moment um, that will let you enjoy your day. You can stop paying attention to this. You can stop paying attention to this video after I show you this. Catherine of Siena. A friend of mine went to Siena recently and brought this back for me. Um, yeah, Carly did that. We're calling her Crazy Katie. She was a wild woman, but fabulous. And this is really beautiful. And then she brought back this as well. Holy cow, look at that. Um, I understand this is St. Clair's Cross, uh, the Cross of St. Clair. This is, you know, this is just, this is not messing around. This is beautiful, so, yeah, it's fabulous. I totally dig it. So thank you, Carly, for those wonderful gifts. Um, Trish and I are leaving, my wife and I are leaving um, Monday morning. Probably Monday morning. We might leave late Saturday night. We'll see how everything goes tomorrow. But we're leaving Monday morning for Virginia. So I will be offline. I'm going to do my best to be offline. I can uh, tweet and update my Facebook statuses from my phone, and I'll probably do that. But really, no time for email, no time for anything else. So, yeah, this is it. Um, I'll let you know how tomorrow goes, I'll blog about it. Um, but yeah, and, uh, yeah, I've got a day, it's going to write stuff. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the coal cay of Cork. We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. We'd an elegant craft she was rigged for and aft And how the trade winds drove her She had twenty-three masts and withstood several blasts And they called her the Irish Rover We had Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee There was Hogan from County Tyrone Dota Scriptor. Everything fits.